and let's talk for a few minutes about what an ATO is and what these components are. We're going to draw here on the screen servers, network, storage, security. These are all hardware components. And although we're only really drawing hardware components right now, security, firewalls, this impacts an ATO includes everything, not just hardware. It includes software, process, policy. We're going to talk about that in this video. So here are the hardware components, pretty basic stuff in an infrastructure, server, storage, uh, network, security, all of these things are primary components in building an ATO, and all of them impact your ability to get an ATO, but they don't do it individually. But some of the things that we look at, for example, security may be ports and vulnerabilities associated with that. It may be um, the BIOS, uh, it may be ports on the server, it may be um, the network operating system on the switch or storage, etc. You get the idea, right? All of these we're looking at from an operational and from a security perspective. That gives us the authority to operate. Just like you wouldn't give your teenager a driver's license without teaching them how to drive first, an ATO is kind of like that. We want to make sure that everything is squared away before we start doing business. But it's not individual. It's a collection or what we call a system. A system or a solution. Like, for example, email may be the solution. All right, so now that we've defined here the server's network, all of this stuff is not, not in a vacuum, right? It all works together in order to satisfy a specific um, objective within the environment, right? A solution, a system. Let's talk about some of the other things that we need to do. So from an operational management perspective, the ATO is going to look carefully at what vulnerabilities exist within the environment. It's going to look at what the contingency plan, right? HA, DR, things of that nature are. What is your operational strength? How are you following ITEL processes, for example? Six Sigma, whatever it is that you're using, those type of processes. So those are all critical to the component. But in addition, it's what process do you have in place? And what policies do you have in place? So here we've got the policy. And we've got the process, the workflow by which we do things. So what do you have in place? Both of those together, this all makes up part of the ATO, everything up on the red. But important, the management of the system. Here we're going to do some erasing here and kind of square this off here. So management of the environment. And let's kind of capture that as a box uh, because we're going to put it all together because it's going to equal the ATO. So let's go ahead and draw that out. Move that over, and we're going to have process and policy plus all of the stuff that we learned about vulnerabilities, contingency, operations, all of those plans that we have in place. The plus, that plus doesn't look very nice. Let's erase that. And, oops, it's not the eraser. Let's erase that and start over. Just put a plus here. All of this <laughs> equals the authority to operate, or the ATO. A all right, and so this is critical for any operation, whether you call it an ATO or, or a certification, it doesn't matter. So it's not about the server, the network, the storage, and the security as individual components. It is about them as a collective, a system, or a solution like email. We couple that with policy, process, paying attention to our operational strength, and that equals our authority to operate.